Hey guys, what's happening? So, in a different location today, um, doing a video, but uh, in one of my updates last night, um, typically on Sundays I update all my miners, and uh, I saw this new Team uh, Black Miner, so I was kind of wondering what that was all about. And so what you see in front of you uh, is a 1660, uh, well my NVIDIA rig. I actually have three different rigs. I have uh, this, my NVIDIA rig, which is an RTX 3070. It's two 1660 supers. I also have this uh, six GP home, which is my four RX 5700 XTs, and I'll show you that. So I have these two on site, and then this is on my location, the uh, six RX 580s. But um, all right, so I want to try this Team Black Miner. So here is the release stuff. But supposedly it's supposed to the mining fee is about half a percent, so. It seems a little bit lower than I'm actually currently running G Miner on my NVIDIA rigs. So um, let's take a, I want to do a before and after um, of the mega hash and also the uh, power consumption. So I'm going to go back over to my mining rig. We'll take a look at it. So we'll do before and after power consumption and also see if we're getting more mega hash. But I'm actually currently running a fixed port lock. So I'm actually already getting fantastic power consumption. So. Um, all right, so I'm going to go back with my camera, and we'll take a look at the rigs. All right, so like I said, sorry for the background noise. So this is actually my 3D printed mining rig. It's the, uh, that's the uh, 3070 and the 216 are supers. And uh, I'm in every day. I got one of them on offer up. And, uh, one was, I originally had bought at a Micro Center retail, like 250 bucks. <laughs> back then, when you could get them for 250 bucks. And that was the uh, RX4, or RX 570s. But let me show you my little app here I use. It's, uh, I made actually several videos about this, but... This is how I, I, I can tell my power consumption, and it's controlled by those devices there. And it actually runs a uh, over Wi-Fi. But so if I'm actually not here and this thing locks up, I can remotely turn on and off my rigs, and also see the power consumption. So this is the uh, 4 GP rigger here, the home, and I'm currently running about 308 watts. So I guess I want to see if Team uh, Black Miner can either lower the power consumption or you know, give me more mega hack or something if it's gonna make any sort of improvement. So like I was saying, I'm already I'm currently running a G minor. Um, it's not as stable as like NB minor, but um, I get a little bit more mega hash, I don't know. So I do get a couple of like uh, rejected shares, but I right, only just a few, not not a big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna look at my flight sheet. And I've already created a flight sheet based on uh, because right now I'm actually mining Ethereum, but I'm actually having it converted to uh, you know, Bitcoin. So I'm actually currently running a nice hash. So let me show you the Team Black Miner uh, on HiveOS here. Um, because it's typically, it, it, when you when you create a, you know, uh, a nice hash setup, there was no option for uh, Team Red or Team Black Miner. So I had to manually set up the uh, configuration here. And I'll show you how I did that here real fast. Uh, edit this flight sheet. And so I basically just copy and pasted this, the, the worker, this stuff right here, the variables, and the strat of TCP. So we'll see if this works. And uh, we'll apply this flight sheet. But at this point, I want to log into the uh, device here. Okay. All right. So right now, it currently is mining G miner. So I'm going to unapply the flight sheet, unset, and that should go away. Okay. And I actually did all the updates last night, so it's fully up to date. Well, it looks like they actually set another update. Um, yeah, it looks like they already put another update up. All right, so since I already have this off, I'll just do a quick update on this thing. Um, and self upgrade force. Updates. All right, ready to go. All right, let's go. We'll fight some So, hash, nice hash, team black miner. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. Okay, one 
minor. All right, let's see if it works. Yeah, since I screen terminated. But so I downloaded the actual real uh, software, just the you know the Windows executable, the batch files, and sometimes you can actually look at these, and it will actually uh, kind of give you like a sample configuration. So let's do uh, EtherMine, and let's do uh, edit. Okay, so I want to look at basically what this thing is looking for: TP Miner, boot. All right, looks like I got this going with uh, NiceHash, which is uh, a little bit more difficult. You have to do a manual configuration on it. And I'll go up and I'll, I'll show you that how I did it, uh, at least what the settings are for NiceHash. But um, right now I'm actually uh, getting jobs and accepting shares, so that's a good sign. Um, let's see if it's fully worn out. We'll go back into, back into Hive here. We'll go back to the uh, GPU and... See what kind of mega hash we're getting. Whoa, 64 and 31. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this lower GTX uh, 1660, that Asus, the Tough Gaming. Actually, it's it's actually not that good of a GPU because it has that you know solid aluminum heat sink, but it does extremely low power consumption. But yeah, 64 mega hash. Okay. Wow. That's uh, I guess I'll have to verify with the. Uh, with the power. So I figured I'm probably up about three or four mega hash probably. So not bad. Alright, let's go over and check the power. Alright, so it did bring up power consumption. Uh, which it might be worth the trade-off. We'll see how stable this is. Um, so it went from 308 to 313. So I'm going to let it go here for a couple days and see if I get any uh, rejected shares. Um, but let me go back over to uh, HiveOS and I'll show you the uh, settings I did to get. Well, if you're, if you're interested, I mean, Hivion should be a, just an easy, you know, create a flight sheet. But with uh, if you want to mine Nithash, then I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, still looking good. Okay, that went down a little bit. So I'm just going to keep this eye on this for a day or two and see if I actually like it more than G-Miner. And let's see if we're still getting still getting shares. That's an accepted share. Um, and this is with NiceHash. So uh, let me show you that configuration if you guys are interested in, in the configuration here. Um, so on our flight sheet, go to edit. And, uh, okay. So if you want to do this with NiceHash, this needs to be wallet here, worker name, URL host, URL port. So that's it. So And it currently is mining. I verified it on NiceHash. So, all right. I mean, yeah, it's I mean, a little bit better, you know. I mean, lower fees too, so we'll, we'll see. I said I'll give this a week, and uh, if it sucks, I'll, I'll come back and I'll do an update on it. So, all right, guys. Cool. Yeah.